Tom Carbone would like to start with a good shot. Pressure's got to be on him. Right up the track. Oh, it was a dandy. Oh, I was oh how do you like? Look at Petey Weber. He was up off the bench before the ball hit the pocket. I was talking to him earlier, you know. I said, well, you nervous? He says, yeah. I said, I bowl on TV in, in Colorado. He says, I was so nervous. I couldn't even take my first two steps. He oh says, my. I said, this is your first time on national TV? He says, yeah. Now, that'll relax him. Tita Semez looking to start where he left off. A little too much room and a soft 10 on lane 16. Very professional shot, though. That's where he wants to keep it, right around the 1-3. Hope for something good to happen and rely on his partner. <laughs> Tita in search of senior title number seven. It would move him past the great one, Dick Weber, and also one of the top senior players ever, John Handegard. They both have six. At the 10, no problem there, and Rich Abood, who has really been the horse here this afternoon, will go to work on lane 15. See if the arm swing changes for a title. I don't know. He crept a little high on the fill ball there, so I mean. Good opening shot. And I think it's time to move. Just a hair high again. That ball hooked just a little bit, a uh, little quick. And the ball had plenty of speed, good velocity. So you either pick up that speed a little bit more or you make the board, the half a board move or something. He's got a half a board to work with for that reaction. It's always what I used to do on four things as I moved to half a board left. Did you? Mm -hmm. Just do exactly the same shot. Mm -hmm. right. What about for 10 pins? 10 pins were a little more difficult <laughs> to adjust to. You're always reluctant to move right because you're afraid the ball's going high. Sure. Not as reluctant to move left because, you know, you're not afraid of being light in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Pete Weber, plenty of swing, dances out the 10, and a double by the top seeds to start things off. That's his dad and wife look on. Style that's won 20 titles, looking for 21. Kind of a shuffle step, high backswing, and snaps it through at the end. Perfect balance. You see how that balance there at the end? Tough to teach that. Carbone, more speed. Oh, and look at Tom. Didn't show a lot of emotion throughout the week, but uh, he is fired up here for the week. Well, they've gotten the boots and Smez's attention right away with that turkey. Straight up with the follow through. Look at Tom Carbone. Yes, he knows he's got a big time player. Tita, a little more of a flip shot, trying to ride the oil line, and he does. So let's see if Abu can put a double together here and move into the chase. He has to. I mean, right now, the way Weber and Carbone have come out, he's got to put a strike up on the board here and get his team within 10, 11 pins. My dad, he worked double shifts on the assembly line. My mom raised 10 kids and worked nights. They did it to give our family a better life. And Renner Center knows you work hard to do the same for yours. That's why they make it easy to get the things you really want for your family. They don't check your credit. You don't even need credit. And their 100% satisfaction guarantee makes it all worry free. You want to give your family the best. And Renner Center is there to make sure you always can. We will not be quiet. We will not try to blend in. Petey Weber looking for a four bagger and back to a 21 pin advantage. Oh, the solid eight. <laughs> it was there for a moment. Oh. And that old laser eyes looked at it and it fell down. Which laser eyes? Which the old Weber or the young? No, no. The young, young Weber. Young Weber, okay. Dick knew it was going to fall. Oh. Carbone looking for five. Trying to keep pace up the track. Gave it a little more room. Slips out of the pocket and he finishes with a two, four, five. And slips was the right word. It looked like kind of just slipped out of his hand. Didn't catch it with the fingers. Kind of just fell off the hand. Two, four, five, though. Needs to work hard on the spare. 
don't want to give up any advantage that you've already gained. A little more lock straight at it. Oh. Oh, the two and the four off the five and an open frame. And what that means then is from having a decent lead, if Tita strikes now, his team is in the lead. How quickly it turns around. Soft speed. Oh! Boy, what hit the temp in? Power. Fingers. Power. Present. What pin hit the tent pin? <laughs> Popcorn strike for Tita Sumez. Let's watch it. Watch the ball. Look at the three pin. It hits the nine. Three pin. The three pin. I couldn't tell it was a three or the six. One of them. Could... Oh, oh, Richard Boone is just throwing them all like that. When Rich starts giving it that exit stage right walk, you know that he's caught it at the bottom of the swing. Back and in the lead by 14. Right. Wow. And I'll tell you what, now the pressure shifts to Carbone because Weber is throwing the ball really well in this right lane, but they got to need, they need two of them to get a double. Petey trying to strap it, come back. Oh, that's as good a strike as you're ever going to see in a championship round. And Mr. Carbone is in, in a really tense situation right now because the weight of this match is riding on him right now. They got a double to get a chance to get back in the game. Trouble. Oh, wow, what a trip. <laughs> oh, that was the break of a lifetime for Tom Carbone. Just a little bit high. I mean, he lost that ball again, too, then. Finishing from a high position. See the little pat on the back sure. of Weber? <laughs> Pete, he's trying to relax him, I think, more than anything else. Of course, Pete Weber's pretty much lived on television the last 10 years. He wants it just as badly as ever, though. Four bagger for Samaz and Abood. Tita looking to get a little more. Ooh. He, he knew when it left. 3-6-10. Yeah. He was lucky to get out with that. Right. Break it up. Break it up, please. Not an easy spare, though, here, Dave. 3-6-10. Tita, very good spare shooter over the years. Disappointed in himself. They had the mo. He makes this. It's a one-pin match. Stood up on it. And a spare for Tito Semez. If you've enjoyed this action, don't forget to join us next week, 1230 Eastern Time from Astro Bowling Center in San Antonio, Texas, for the championship round finals of the Columbia.